It's Sunday, January 3rd, 2021. I'm Jeff, and I need to put my mouse in the right place. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that makes me Gary. Everyone else is thinking it, and I just say it. And welcome to Cubs Outlaw, the Bear Podcast of Determined Length, episode number 584. And, well, brand new year. What do we do? Is we talk about last year. Mm-hmm. The, 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 it's a tradition, right? Because we're narcissists. Tradition. Right? Um, tradition. Also, this is referred to as our statistical analysis show. Something so, like if that. you Fair are enough, a right? stats yeah. nerd, so if you're a stats nerd, this is this is your show every year. Like, get your calculators ready and just. Well, not we don't go. I'm, I'm that, kidding. But anyway, I was trying to make a pun, but I'm not going to now. So anyway, did you know that in the year 2020, COL Prime? We have exactly 52 episodes. This oh. is including flashbacks. This is including flashbacks. So this is we didn't record 52 episodes, but, but we, we released it. Out. Through. We didn't have a we didn't truly have a skip week, and although unless you count the flashback episodes, I mean, we skipped. We just put something out to kind of yeah cover the skips we're we're making the, sure you're not going with withdraw with, with by flushing back mm. and you still got to hear me the the quote unquote present day me yes that's correct because I, I i do all the teaser intros alternative actually you know what i i got him in my statement I'm doing my math wrong. My spreadsheet oh. ends at line 52. It's actually only 51 episodes. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't mean to correct you, but I see on the on our matrix that we took a week off in July mm. at the oh. oh, we're right. close. We were close. We were close. Yes. We were close. We were almost there. 2021 being a perfect year? Almost perfect. Perfect as in we release every something every week. Well, I mean, to be fair, over here we do have like the definitive icon of the year. You know, the dumpster fire that is twenty twenty. Yeah. So, yeah. there's yeah. that. True. Um. Lloyd, if you do the $100 uh, Patreon level for th for three months, uh, then maybe Gary will give you his massive list of to topics. <laughs> what? <Ooh. laughs> don't, be, don't be making some Ooh. silly promises. Ooh. 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 Well, Lloyd says, I know this is behind the scenes things, but I know Gary has a massive list of topics you have to do today for the subject, and I want to see. I don't know. Well, uh, and actually, no, not really. We don't have a massive list anyway. No, and I'm and I was like, I was thinking he was meeting like the topics that we've never gotten to. <laughs> like, we have a massive list of that. I think we have a a good list. Anyways, that's beside the point. Um, speaking of our uh, spinoff show. Uh, that you guys do the CLDR had 17 episodes in the year 2020. Is that I'm all? aware? Because <laughs> it felt like Although a lot more, and it probably wasn't the most we could have done. Because there are a couple of times where we we squeeze episodes together. Um, yeah, if you maybe. remember. I think it was a little more than 17. By what I had, at least uh, uh, according to PodTrack, that's what I had. I had mm. um, season 12. I think it's 19. Yeah, so season 12, 
Oh, I uh, think I might be missing that one or two. Because I don't have an episode uh, 10 for season 12. Which one? We did. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then I'm missing a 10. Uh-huh. So that would be 18. Uh, 11, 12, 13. I think that was it. And then a 14. There was a 14? Okay. Finale. That somehow didn't get on the tracker. And then eight oh. All Stars. That I have actually. For some reason, I have two twos. So I'm two from season person. season fourteen or season twelve. For missing Jesus, season fourteen. Oh my god! Okay. All Stars season five. Yeah. So. So there's. So about twenty. Yeah. <laughs> Which seems more appropriate because as David and I were talking about, we almost recorded for two shows a week for half a year. And then we got a break and mm-hmm. now we're just starting up again. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm trying I'm to work with <laughs> talking with work um, testicle difficulties. one of people in a track in the um, Lavelle. live chat. Yeah. Lavelle. Um, just we, so he had asked what COLDR was, which is COL Drag Race, which is our sister show we'll just call it sister show <laughs> uh, where gary and i discuss um um the current ep- or the current season of rupaul's drag race um so yes uh, we actually recorded the first episode of season 13 this morning yes kind of mostly and it will be co- forthcoming very soon yeah but we recorded the episode this morning um, it will be out eventually. Yeah. Also in 2020. So be on the lookout. Yes. In, in 2020, I spun off a show. You did. Uh, where I DM a uh, group of bears through Dungeons and Dragons, specifically the Tyranny of Dragons campaign, uh, from published by. Uh, by uh, Wizards of the Coast, and we have had we had twenty twenty one episodes. Ah, actually, and that's 20, quite a twenty two because we had a no no the, no the episode one was session zero so yeah twenty one. Mm-hmm. So we started at the end of July nice. and worked our way through. Nice. And then I started streaming. Uh, wow. In October. Mm-hmm. That... It's part of your COL gaming thing, right? Yeah. Um, I decided not to n- number those because I, I kind of like do those relatively willy nilly and I'm trying to just like sew some things. So I'm just, I don't want to bother doing it. So now they're dated. Mm. That's fair. Uh, I don't know how many I did of those. Hmm. But there's, well, there's that's all that's in, all that's in our Seawell Gaming playlist. Mm. So overall shows, uh, that, that's what's been happening. So tell us, so talk to us, Gary, about the statistical analysis of the Seawell Prime shows. Uh, so 2020, down. we survived it. We made it to 21, baby. Those millennials, they can start drinking. Uh, <laughs> and by millennials, I mean those born in the millennium year. Just yeah. Uh, so when you break it down, um, we had two Altito Shade episodes. Nice. Three, what is. Four, oh. let's talk about kink. Four, let's talk about sex. Four, in a mini miniseries... Um, Landscape of relationships uh-huh, with our yeah. current uh, pedestal and COL sex therapist, um, Edward yeah. Angelini Cook. Oh. So, uh, which LOR as a mini series may come back uh, because he and I would we had wrapped on. I think the fourth one he had said there was definitely more <laughs> that could be talked about. <laughs> like at least he had at least probably a dozen things to pick from in the beginning. So. Uh, so we, that's on the list, Lloyd, by the way, that you want to look at. 
not officially. <laughs> but uh, that's that's a potential of, of something to come this year. Uh, uh, five, let's talk about food. That was a new series that we started this year. So we have LTAK, LTAS, and LTAF. Because we love acronyms. And, and we have an entire <laughs> playlist called the LTA. Or let's talk about it. I think it's how it's listed yeah. on there. Dot, dot, dot. Just, uh, just kind of so we group all of these together. So you get uh, kink, kink, sex, and food. What more could you want, really? I mean, yeah. from what's a, funny from a, is a you should technically combine podcast. all three, combine all three, and it's it's a it's a it, it could be a thing like it's a, a bear run. It's a bear well, run. I mean, <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> In the in the year that was twenty twenty, where there was really none of those going on. Let's see if you add three, four, and five. Let's see that seven. That's twelve. That's three months worth of one once a week episodes <laughs> revolving around this topic. So um, get your freak flag on, like, yeah. <laughs> or get your pair front on, with that kind of thing. That's true. And of all the things we covered last year, uh, none of it was about any bear events. Imagine that. <laughs> uh, there... <laughs> I mean, we did there... not have a bear episode. That is true. We did not That's... do a bear episode. Yes, we did not. Uh, perhaps this this year we might. Who knows? Uh, we also had five flashback episodes um, mm -hmm. to previous topics that uh, we have covered. But instead of recovering the the, the topic again, we re-aired. Uh, previous episode <laughs> and of course we had 12 wgos which is what's going on where we talked about what happened in that particular month for us um non-series topics included the following rest in peace growler return of bathhouses lta <laughs> covid19 yeah sex speeds versus covid19 covid19 and semen um so it's like a trend uh, <laughs> i wonder um, why yeah. Hmm. Funny that. Uh, aging Cubs. Was that just we me had and you? The... What's that? Is that just me and you, Gary, and Aging Cubs? I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't know. We shall look it up. Keep keep going. Keep going. I'll look it up. That's where, one of the things I do. It's 566. Uh, we also had the eighth version of Jeff's birthday bash. Uh, wow. Power hour where her after the cameras uh, went off, uh, I, I ended up uh, scaring everybody to death. <laughs> yes, this year we thought Jeff fell and hit his head and possibly <laughs> had a concussion after having drank a shot or you know, the equivalency of one ounce every minute for 60 minutes straight. We did not know that he was fine. He was just staying on the floor while talking to his mom. <laughs> Because she called him on his birthday, right at the end. Yeah, mm -hmm. there I, was that. I just like fell flat Did in my my butt. I was like laughing hysterically <laughs> because I'm like, this is so stupid. <laughs> and I'm just like, hi, mom. It's so <laughs> it's so great that you were laughing so funnily at that at that moment <laughs> while the rest of us well <laughs> were. <laughs> Freaking the fuck out. Look, look <laughs> when we you. look back on it, it's hilarious. Could it see at you? the time? <laughs> at the <Yeah>. time, <laughs> very I different perspectives. Yeah, and it was it's all, all good. I called your cell phone like twelve times in a row. <laughs> you didn't answer. <laughs> I was talking to my mom, and plus, I, it, yes, I think I had it on silent or something. Yeah, you did. Because then once you were good and you got back, you were like, oh, you called me a lot of times. I was like, yes, because I was trying to see if you would wake up, like if you were on the floor, knocked out. We were like, trying to wake you up because we thought you had passed out. Are you um, saying, Je Jeff, uh, you're not woke? Yes. Okay, yeah. apparently. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. We also, uh, did an NCOD, uh, National Coming Out Day Recognition, our favorite things. And then, uh, weirdly, we kind of wrapped 2020 similarly to the way we started 2020 with the rest in peace X-Tube slash Pornhub question mark. Mm, yeah. So, yeah. Very cool. <clears throat> we we <sighs> covered a lot in <laughs> 
that was 2020. Mm -hmm. And yes, COVID was a topic several times. We didn't make yes. a series out of it, but it kind of feels like maybe we should have. Well, um, COVID kind of became a, a, a talking, a jumping off point for a lot of our topics and conversations. Like, let's be serious. It was, a, or not be serious. Let's be, let's be realistic here and realize like COVID was a thing. It was mm -hmm. a, it was a big thing and it affected all of our lives in different ways. And that kind of reflects in, you know, the show. Um, and I'm sure many of our listeners um, appreciated some of the information we gave out, particularly for me, the one about like, you know, COVID and semen. Like, it's a, it's a thing. Like, you have to think about it. And I just Probably realized I thought about playing. it. Uh, oh. The blood ban issue. Oh, yeah. That's right. Talking about the, the CDC's, mm -hmm. uh, the FDA's change that if you are abstinent for 90 days for three months as an MSM, you can donate blood. Um, and, uh, to put a little coda on that, I just saw recently that there is a study underway currently in 2021 that is just starting here in, uh, I think it's here in the U S yeah, where they are, I think looking for 2,400 roughly or 1200 volunteers that they're going to track and they're going to determine whether or not that, uh, 90 day thing should be adjusted. Like if there's a modification that can be made that we can mm. um, rely on individuals who tell us uh, about their practices and then like test the blood supply, I believe is what it is, and compare mm -hmm. against and uh, see how that goes. That's kind of my take on it. I found it interesting. I was like, oh, we might actually be looking to move like uh, Europe and uh, those type of places have moved to a uh, different model so they're not really restricting donations for blood. So yeah. So that's going on as well. Um, uh, before kind of we get into the statistics in our personal lives um, I started a new job last year. Yeah. Uh, in just under three weeks it will have been a year. Um, my main job became my part-time job and then I have a new full-time job working for the local county health department. Um, and then COVID happened, so there's that. Uh, <laughs> what a great time to join the health department. Yes. <laughs> Nothing like being a public health employee when a worldwide pandemic comes. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Not on the horizon. Not on the horizon is the commonality for people across the world. Uh, even if you worked in virology and in like studying viruses and the potential of the impact, I don't quite think anybody started on January 1st of 2020 saying, you know what could happen this year? We could have a worldwide pandemic that kills millions <laughs> and you know, wipes out, you know. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. So there's that. I'm sure, I'm sure that was, yeah. I, I, that, I mean, there might have been some people considering it starting in December, but, you know, I think that's the thing. Anyway, they might have been thinking about it, but not expecting this. Right. All, 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 all of this. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, so it, 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 it's feeling like the world is trying to initiate population control. Being mm. like, you know, humans are, are, are getting a little bit out of control here. See what you can do with this. <laughs> Survival yeah. of the smartest <laughs> and the introverts. Yeah. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, so for me, new job, uh, ups and downs with my dad, the year ended that he, um, is being taken care of by folks in a facility. I haven't seen him, uh, in quite a few months. Um, mm. and that's been a bit of a challenge, but it's because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, mm -hmm. didn't really travel or go anywhere. I was thinking about 2021 and was like, where am I going to go? What am I going to do? Uh, I don't know. Like still... <laughs> Still can't really plan anything for the first half of the year, guaranteed. Yeah. Um, the second half of the year is a bit of a question mark, so I'm looking to like maybe extend some weekends. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm, <laughs> I might very well find myself not using much of my vacation time. I don't know. We'll see. Well, some people on the priority list, I believe, aren't, aren't even getting uh, COVID vaccinations until like March. Yeah, uh, exactly. I know my brother who he doesn't work directly with 
patience and people. He's like a record mm -hmm. keeper sort of person, if I remember his job correctly. Um, but he's working with health records. Uh, he's on the list, but it's not going until I think at least March. So this the rollout of the vaccine, it's gonna take time. Fact. Yeah, so, I don't know COVID, if every state has the same kind of rollout thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, in, in PA, where I am in Pennsylvania, we have tiers. So tier mm -hmm. one or group one is broken into stages. So they call it 1A, 1B, 1C. I mm -hmm. think that's as far as tier one goes. And then we get to tier two and tier three. And I am considered a 1C, I think. Mm -hmm. Because we work in public health, but we're not interacting with the public necessarily. Like, yes, we have clinics, but our clinics are pretty much closed at the moment. So... Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we're, we're essential workers, not frontline workers. It's mm -hmm. a, it's yeah. a whole yeah. kind of different situation. So, and if you go, it, like, so if you work in a building or a facility, I think that puts you in a higher, like, priority or bracket. But if you don't need to be there, you know, or whatever, and, you know, most people, uh, probably found a lot, we found a lot of jobs being able to work from home, uh, in 2020. Yeah. So that shifted that kind of stuff, yeah. I think. So I wouldn't even be surprised if, like, I, for the company my company works for, uh, I think it's one of those things where, especially considering I've been working for a home so for like six, seven, eight months now. I don't even remember. Um, and it's been working out perfectly fine. It, it, I'm getting more sleep. <laughs> I'm much more relaxed because I'm not around people. <laughs> but also that's a personal thing. Um but I would assume that 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 the you know because uh, as I said full disclosure I work on a project for YouTube TV so um, because it's Google I'm sure that they'll probably be able to organize something where it's like hey uh, you come into work um, you're gonna come in at such and such a time uh, we're gonna have people stationed here to give vaccines you're gonna come in at this time get your vaccine mm -hmm. blah, blah 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 and then have some sort of process because large corporation right yeah i think um i don't know uh, this that, is just me will, theorizing it so right I, and i think that may come to pass for all employers um mm -hmm. at some point in the future especially if they have a brick and mortar kind of operation and they want to return to what was considered the norm of a brick and mortar operation before um yeah. retail uh, telecommunications, you know, people in offices and cubicle farms and all that kind of stuff. Um, I would not be surprised if this kind of, I'm not going to say it becomes a requirement of your job, but like the, it is kind of the norm that a vaccination record is asked about because, you know, employers don't want to be facing, you know, masses of their employees not being able to work because they're, yeah. you know, or sick. for we're depending on on the place uh, providing ways where like they can get one on their site or something like that so mm. i don't know i don't know i'm theorizing yeah. this is, do not yeah. take any of this as fact i am not a health professional nor anybody related to to uh, uh the distribution of the vaccine so that's just sure. us hoping and trusting uh the united states government <laughs> Which I'll be much much more trustworthy for in what eighteen days? Seven, right? Well, technically seventeen. Seventeen. Thank you. Hey, I was close. I was I was just throwing <laughs> out a number. No, I, I know. I, 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 I wasn't doing the math. I was like, is it what is eighteen? I'm not sure. <laughs> you're not wrong with eighteen. You're a little more. You're a little more exact with seventeen. But you know what? Like, I was close. I mean, it was, it was close. It was good. Yeah, yeah. yeah Close yeah. enough. It's, it's fine. Also, uh, are you done with yours? It, yeah, it, I was going to say, what about the two of you? Um, so um, I, I had gotten happier this year because I'm working <laughs> from home. Because this is <laughs> this is the difference between me and my co-hosts. I don't need to see people. I, I, I can like, if my, my 
interaction with people is digital across the interwebs. And just once a week, even for for radio, for for doing this this show, if I'm just chatting online, and you know all of that, I am a happy boy. <laughs> I am super super happy. I I haven't my, dri- driven the car that I purchased earlier this year, thanks to my dad. <laughs> That's the only reason why I have that is because my dad <laughs> dad paid for it. Yeah. Definitely. So technically, it's probably still considered my dad's. But anyway, it's beside the point. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't driven that since, like, within the first couple of months of... of Owning uh, it. <laughs> so it's just been sitting here in the parking lot. And I swear to God, I feel like I have so much more money. Because I'm not, like stopping at, at the fast food restaurant on the way home and mm-hmm. and I'm, I, I like I just order I I could order from Instacart and not be like well I'm spending all that extra fees or anything mm-hmm. so all my groceries are delivered uh, I, I get to be wear super comfy co- clothing during the summer I could be practically nude if not completely nude at work because we don't use have cameras for for our 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 daily huddles. They didn't give me one when I left left for work, and they didn't give me a laptop which has a built-in one. So, so during the summer when it's fucking hot here in in Texas, it it's great. I've been this has been a joy for me. <laughs> Of course, this also deals with me thinking about a couple of things. What I, I like, I have gripes about having to order through through uh, uh, through Instacart because if my thing isn't there, I'm very limited on the selection of alternatives, and I have to trust them mm-hmm. to either either pick an alternative or it's not on there. I may just be like, oh, I'm just going to skip this or. Oh, they don't have this. Oh, I'll get this instead. And it's something completely different, but, you know, similar sort of thing. But I can't necessarily choose that on on the app. So mm-hmm. there, so grocery shopping, where, where I could be going around, walking around, just running around the store and just being like, oh, I could grab some of these. You know, some of that, that spur of the moment sort of things like... Sometimes I wish I'd be walking past the little de- Debbie's and see those zebra cakes and being like, oh, I should get one of those boxes, <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. But here I don't. <laughs> I've been uh, uh, cooking for myself more. I really need to actually put in another uh, uh, grocery order because uh, I, I, I'm down to have to my last ingredients for mac and cheese casserole. Don't get me wrong. I'm not eating just mac and cheese casserole. That's just one of my like filling staples while I'm trying to make another casserole or skillet dish or something like that. Mm -hmm. Now I got a rice cooker so I can actually like look up recipes for using the rice cooker. I'm super excited about that. It's, it's just been a delight for me. The antisocial is happy because he literally cannot be social. Yeah. It's, it's kind of what I'm getting. Like you don't you don't have to be social essentially. But here's the like, here's the looking on the downside of this, I don't want to go anywhere where there's people because I think I have this inner thing of of wanting of I might get sick. Like I'll I'll still like walk to the supermercado or the uh, uh, convenience store that's like half a block away. I could just walk there. It's usually uh-huh. uh, relatively in and out, and there's not a lot of people there. It's a little tough to actually stay six feet apart, hundred percent of the time. Mm-hmm. But you know, usually I'm walking past them. You know, quick. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. you know, it's mm-hmm. still a little bit of a risk. I wear a mask the whole time. Reducing mm-hmm. my risk, etc. Blah 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 mm-hmm. blah. Uh, but like, I fear going to the doctor 
because I might have to sit there and wait in a waiting room with sick people, possibly yes. get COVID. <laughs> I, I'm afraid to go to the dentist even because, well, one, they're looking right into my mouth and I'm breathing. My mouth is wide open. I, I have all these like internal Fear. fears about COVID that I don't, ex I may be happy in all this other things. Yeah. Outdoors and things I'm, that I'm constantly thinking about, but all these other things, which may be important to do and just yep. to, to go out, I, I mm -hmm. kind of, I have a fear for, which not diagnosed. No professional has diagnosed for me, but it made me kind of think maybe I have a form of agoraphobia, which is not good. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I don't well, think that it's like a major, major affected, but it it's kind of like on the milder side of things because I, I would still go out if COVID wasn't around, I'd still go to work and blah 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 i would still go end up going to a busy grocery store and such but then when i get home i just don't I, I go from here to work here to work and that's where i want but other times of my life sometimes it's hard to do some of the things that are necessary because i just don't want to go out i don't, don't want to think but what's that subconscious thing which then makes me think that yeah i probably should actually the 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 CA psychiatrist or something. So I've had this in amongst all my happiness of uh, the COVID nineteen uh, work at home p pandemic. I've kind of had this inner like thought about myself and just you know, am I just an introvert? Or is there something more there? And then fears and fears and fears just kind of pile up and I just try to stick to the things that make me happy. So I know I totally changed my, my whole thing from this super happy thing to this kind of depressing sort of thing. And I apologize about that, but that's part we are, of my year we, is, is we, I was saying, these are things are I were realizing. Yeah. The year that is 2020. So, yeah. so it's all, it's all there. A lot of introspective and if Damon's trying to talk he's needed but there we go yeah David what about your 2020 <laughs> let me guess uh, let me guess you were home a lot uh, <laughs> you ate a lot got lots yeah. of sex no <laughs> <laughs> look at you Wing and a miss. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I think you're friends with Ed. You can call him about that, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I guess. You do too. <laughs> uh, for me, 2020 was, I call it a lucky year. Um, in a good and bad way. Um, I was furloughed. I don't think either of you were. No. Um, so I, mean, um, I was just worked at home. Yeah. So I worked from home in March, like right after kind of everything kind of went shit. Um, and then in April, I was furloughed um, and I was furloughed for three months. I went back in July. Um, I was one of the few, again, lucky to return because we did. The company was having some issues prior to it anyway. And the furlough did not help things. So they did a part of the, not the furlough, the pandemic didn't help things. So we kind of went in, they went into this massive restructuring and the thinking process. They were kind of already doing it, but they then had to shift completely. So um, a lot of people lost their jobs. Um, I'm not going to, you know, you know, in my company, a lot of people lost their jobs and it was, it hit hardest at the corporate level for the first time in a while like you know stores will close things can shut down things get reduced etc cetera, etc cetera. but like usually corporate was like 
one of the few areas that was not hit as hard because you needed those bodies to do the you know inner workings of things to make things happen externally. Well, that happened, um, but I was again one of the lucky ones, one of the fortunate ones to come back. Um, I am working from home. I'm still working from home, and because of that, like Jeff was mentioning, there's a possibility that I will be working home from home indefinitely. Um, they're again part of their restructuring and changing of things. They're thinking about talking about the potential of making the more um, office corporate spaces more meeting spaces as opposed to making them like actual physical offices where you can you would work all day. Um, or you can come in on occasion. So it will be interesting to see how that goes. I'm looking forward to that in some ways. Um, again, I was fortunate to have a house where I could set up a office space or had already set up an office space and I'm able to use it in that capacity. So I'm not like sitting in my, uh, like what I'm doing right now, I'm in my um, dining room, like with the computer on, on the table. I actually have a space that I can close the door and when I'm done with work and like put it aside as opposed to it constantly kind of being there. Keep it separate. Uh, yeah, making it separate. Uh, um, again, the year has been rough. Um, uh, unrelated to COVID, um, I lost my niece um, in July, like literally came to work that Monday, the following day, um, she was killed like that's kind of how it went down yeah. um and um but again um i've had family members who have gotten covid but have you know six survived are doing well um and you know jim on the flip of it like jim has not been working um he works he's been working this let me sorry let me read. Um, smaller type projects than an actual like full time kind of position, um, and that has been great because it has been helpful with everything that's going on. Uh, while I was furloughed, um, one of the again like the reason I keep saying it's a lucky year, um, you know the the big spread CARES Act that kind of gave everyone when they were unemployed an extra six hundred a week was helpful for me because it allowed me, it gave me extra money that I wasn't spending, like Jeff mentioned, I wasn't going and eating while I was going to lunch because I wasn't working. I wasn't spending money on like bus passes or anything like that. So I ended up being able to like put money aside and save and and um, build up the um, savings that I lost during the first few weeks of the, um, my furlough when <laughs> um, um, I didn't think to ask the roofing company if they took credit cards. Um, <laughs> uh, like, um, thank you. Like, thank you the first um, stimulus check because that literally paid for the roof on my head. Um, <laughs> like, let's just be honest with that. Uh, but uh, other than that, like I have been um, mostly like staying home. Um, Jim and I have been here. We we we've gone out on occasion. We celebrated our anniversary in June, our seventeenth anniversary in June. Um, and I've done a little traveling. Um, I went home in July for that, for unfortunate reasons, but I was able to go to Maryland in October to see AJ and kept it kind of a low key, like stay at home, stay a home away vacation, uh, which was nice. Um, and stay somewhere else. Yeah, I was, I, it, it, you know, we were at his place and he made dinners and we went out a couple of times, but it was mostly us. So that was kind of nice. Um, and it was apparently right in between like big like surges that ended up closing everything again. So yeah, um, it's 
again, I like I consider myself lucky. Um, I was able to do um, do things I needed to do. Um, I focused on my health a little more. Um, I thought, you know, I've been going to the doctor. I've been treating with, you know, um, I've got my um, blood pressure, heart conditions kind of under control, which is nice. Um, the pre-diabetes, not so much, but that's because I'm not doing anything. I'm not walking. I'm not going out because I'm, again, trying to stay home as much as possible. So, um, but overall, it's been okay. Um, I think that's the good part is that it has been pretty good um, overall. Uh, what that means in 2021, I don't know, but I feel like I was able to do things that I needed to do that needed to get done, you know, if that makes sense. It does. For certain. Yeah. I think, um, you know, one of the things we all equally are grateful for is that we, you know, uh, made it through the year without any, um, serious impacts um you know jeff and i we stayed employed the entire time uh damon you talked about you know how you had a furlough but you were able to come back to your employer um and get the stimulus and unemployment in the meantime so uh we all got you know blessed financially in terms of like being able to kind of maintain things as they are um so yeah uh yeah. Okay. We, we're not really going to get into it in this episode, but, you know, outside of our little bubble, uh, the U.S. was a mess. Um, yeah. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, shit. <laughs> like, I, I, um, I will say I think this, this year allowed a lot. I think, like, Jeff, you kind of pinpoint, talked about it a little bit more. It allowed us to be a lot more introspective because we were, for lack of a better phrase, home alone a lot with our thoughts. Um, <laughs> like, uh, and it, it, it gave you an, a, diff a perspective that you probably didn't realize you had. You had to really, really think about, you had time now to think about yourself. And I know that sometimes you get that and you think that's selfish, but you sometimes do need to think about yourself. Mm -hmm. um, you need to like think like how you're doing and how you're feeling. Like Jeff's been talking, like Jeff, you talked about, you know, the, the, yeah. the potential, like maybe you're agoraphobic and you might need, you know, psychiatric help. Like those are things that you probably maybe hadn't had a whole lot of time to think about because you were busy doing other things. You were working, you were, you know, you know, worried you mentioned your anxiety and things like that being you you're you're allowed now to calm down because you don't have that same anxiety as you had before but you probably now have a new anxiety because you're now freaking out because you you're now like i don't want to do anything but that's you know you've had time now to think about those things um for me um i i i learned uh, a lot more about like people and and have gained a new perspective on what I will take and tolerate in my life. Um, this was the year of a lot of like uh, removal of friends um, like on Facebook and what have you because it's just become um, you know, social justice is one thing, but there's also like a a true like, are you really there for me kind of feeling that came for me. Um, mm -hmm. And it and I ended up removing several people that I thought were, but given some of their actions and comments and stuff, realized that probably you're not. And, um. I saw recently a friend of mine posted like we should be giving those people another opportunity now that everything's over. And I was kind of like, mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. 
I think that's fair. Mm-hmm. Um, I recently did a purge on my very own uh, Tumblr or t- sorry, Twitter. Wow. Uh, <laughs> wrong platform. Um, I just kind of got a bug up my, you know what? Um, I was realizing I followed a lot of people that literally have thousands upon thousands of followers on Twitter. And I was like, why? Like, why am I following these people that everybody else is following? Mm-hmm. And like was noticing, like I would see double uh, duplicate and triplicate, like a uh, post, like other people were sharing the same thing that I was already seeing directly from that person. So that helped cut down. Um, I decided I really wanted some authenticity. Like I want to be connected to people that aren't famous, quote unquote, on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, like like kind of culling uh, your connections and stuff. I think it was a theme of the year as well. Mm-hmm. You're here. So okay. uh, Jeff, in terms of the statistics of how things went, anything of note? Well, let's talk about the the tops of things. Ooh. As opposed to the bottoms. Yeah, the <laughs> bottom. I didn't look at the bottoms. Um, but, um, but, um, but we're not. But there's no sides to this, okay? Not this time around. Yeah. So not in this the time around. in the year 2020, I mean, it, it, caveat. I want to put a little caveat because because trying to sort it through the data um i'm looking at episodes that released during the year 2020. okay Uh, we're not saying saying anything that because when i was pulling the youtube stats um the the sheet when i said hey i want it from january 1st of, of 2020 to january 1st of 2021 and uh it gave me stuff that aired previous to that so i had to actually sort through fortunately just kind of like looking for the episode that aired in mm-hmm, 2020 mm-hmm. before that um and the nice thing about our pod track stats uh is that they they list it by episode air in any way so that made it a little bit mm. easier nice so in the episodes that when we're talking about downloads, so these are the pod track stats. Uh, actually, the top downloaded episode was a flashback episode, episode 247, oh. uh, part one, followed closely by part two, uh, but part one had uh, 376 downloads. For Ooh. for Drag Race, we had 127 going to All Stars Season 5, episode 8. That back, Ooh, which was a finale. Mm-hmm. Nice. Uh, of all time, released whenever. <laughs> our 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 top downloaded from the time that we started using PodTrack to to track these stats. So, uh, but uh, I believe I started before this episode aired. Episode number four hundred three, Mister North American Bear Cub twenty seventeen, has had sixteen thousand or sixteen hundred and one downloads. That's sixteen. Wow. Sixteen hundred. Interesting. Uh, Coldr, uh, the top only topped at one sixty seven with uh, All Star season or season eleven episode fourteen, the grand finale hmm. of that year. Uh, over in the YouTubes, uh, the episodes that aired in 2020, this is where we had to actually do a little more of the sorting. Um, the most viewed was Rip Growler, but you also have a caveat here of this was also beginning of the year. <laughs> so mm-hmm. it's had that entire year to, for it to come to, to accumulate that. But 175 views. With CLDR's season twelve, episode one, uh, I'm that bitch, uh, getting one hundred and thirty-two. Of Ooh. all time, our reigning champ for CL Prime <laughs> is episode two eighty, the LTAS digital release with Daddy Hadrian, with <laughs> currently at four thousand one hundred and forty-three views. Wow. But 
we're currently at 584 and that was 280. Wow. We Almost had half, of, half of our series ago, or half yeah. of our existence. Wow. And for uh, for the All Stars episodes, uh, All Star Season Three, Episode Three, The Bitchular, has is stopping at uh, fifteen hundred and thirty two. Nice. Yes, that was the that was a fun episode. The Bitchular or, or digital release? Yes, The Bitchular. I don't think I was on digital release. Or maybe I was. Um, I think you were. Yeah, this was actually be before we did our regular streaming. This was when we were back using uh, Google Hangouts the live. Because it's like, we had Daddy Adrian on. Of course we're going to do Maybe <laughs> I was. Video. Like it was September of 2014, so I can understand, Damon, how you may be having difficulty recalling an episode from almost six and a half years ago. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe that's why. Um, you know, you believe you've been doing it, this for well over six and a half years. like six and a quarter years ago. But... Wow. I just don't. Because <laughs> And also remember, like while we had Hadrian on, we also had Gabe Grill on. We kind of had two um, sexy bear men on our show at the time. So, like, maybe that's what it was. And I, again, I don't. And know. World Class Kisser Part 1 and 2 were our top two downloads for, for audio wise. So, Gabe was also on those. <laughs> Yes, and I was not on COL 280. You it weren't at all? You, no, okay. that was, it was you and Jeff and Hadrian and Gabriel. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it was, um, was that November? No, that was October. I may not have been in town. It was I September. Know. I was just looking at the, the calendar matrix. It was recorded on September 28th. So I don't know what she was doing that year at the end of September. I have no clue. I don't know. But I, 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 was, I was not available for that episode for one reason or another. And now you can claim that you uh, were not on the episode that's been most popular with us on, on YouTube. Yeah. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> it makes you feel so much better. Children. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> I kid. Anyway, continue. So we've covered a lot. Cover. Uh, mm -hmm. And for the coming year, uh, there's quite the potential for new stuff to come. Um, I'm hoping uh, in just a couple of weeks, I'm going to reconfirm uh our sex therapist will be back. Um, not specifically about uh, talking about sex, though, since he is a uh, licensed therapist. Uh, we're going to talk about something different um, when he's on. I'm hoping that we can get Dr. Cisco to come back in February um, to, to talk about uh, a study. Um, and I uh, need to touch base again with uh, Mr. Hadrian for him uh, to come in. Uh, there's some other topic uh, kind of ideas. I was looking ahead to like mapping out the first half of this year. Mm -hmm. Everything is not filled in. So don't everybody get like twisted and be like, dang, like y'all like have everything always <laughs> planned. No, 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 we don't. <laughs> but I've learned over all these years, which by the way, as frightening as this is, let me go back and double check. Uh, Come January 20th of this year, which is what, 17 days away? Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's also the inauguration of President Biden. Oh, yes. how momentous. <laughs> Eight years ago will have been my premiere episode. Ah. <laughs> nice. 
What the fuck happened? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, now we all feel old. And that, I... that was a that was a premiere episode of a, you being the the first time you were on the A episode, right? That was your this was yes. when you were on as a host. This was this was me as a guest, episode one ninety five. Oh, this was the guest episode. Yes, it was the guest yeah. episode, episode one ninety five, January twentieth, twenty thirteen. We're all wet, which is the Drench for interview, which we actually did a flashback of. I think in I don't think it was this past year, but maybe the year yeah. before. Um, but that was sort of, uh, an unspoken audition. <laughs> <laughs> and so I ended up, uh, joining. So, yeah. Um, mm. there's, there's I mean, that. I think a year or two before that, Damon, uh, started. Yeah, that's what I was, I was kind of looking up. Um, I feel like I have it on the calendar. Were you part uh, of the, the, the T and G's? Yes. Damon? Yeah. Okay. So that was March of 2012. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going on eight years, and bitch, you going on nine. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, here's the thing is, when, just think of it this way. In a few weeks, it's the anniversary of COL launching for the very first time. That's right. Episode zero. What a clusterfuck that episode was. The, the pilot episode, which was 13 years ago. Wow. That's how long I've been on this show. <laughs> to, to, to be fair, there was like a, a year or half a year break in there between generations. But... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow, it's so weird to think of that. I'm, I'm, mm, I mean, it makes sense, but wow, it has been a thing. I did not realize for me personally, I mean, I, I, I think, David, you're kind of having the same revelation, and it's different for Jeff since he's been here since the very beginning. I did not realize until I went and I actually was looking it up, I was like, wow, eight years. Like that's a that's a oh, long I, ass time. Not, no, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, like, I didn't realize it was had been that long. If you had asked me just to, off the top of my head, I probably would have said six. Like, mm. it, there really is only two things that have have really changed at all, or, or that have not changed, I should say, about mm -hmm. this show from the very beginning. Me and the theme song. <laughs> True. When you think about it, it, okay, maybe maybe you might count count just my intro spiel. It, it's kind of the same format when I do it mm -hmm. right. But I'm getting old. I'm over forty. We're all over forty. <laughs> but <laughs> besides that, that that's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, I I no, uh, Owen. The I would not compare the the break to Doctor Who because uh, the the true Doctor Who break uh, was between um, the fir the the pre previous eight <laughs> doctors, and then. Uh, Christopher Eccleston, oh. which was kind of the the, the new generation of uh, uh, Doctor Who, and that was a lot longer than a year. That's for sure. But. Mm. And uh, sorry, I'm looking. Oh. We have like three quarters of a year's worth of recordings that got lost along the way, way back. Um, I was just looking back through like before the TNG, there was a whole uh chunk of stuff from like 2010 and some of uh 2011 that yeah. um unfortunately was lost, so yeah, Maybe but there's still plenty of the original content out there. Yep, yeah, I believe the very first episode is still there. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, several of the, the the very earliest, but there's this chunk somewhere in the middle. So, no, that's all right. I'm just kind of clarifying the point, Owen. I wouldn't call that dumb. You're just being silly. There's a difference. Anyways, so that's kind of uh, us in a nutshell for the year that was. 2020. 2020 and we'll probably talk more about art history again as our as we annually do uh in the coming weeks programming note mm-hmm. um bears and dragons is going to have another episode this very week ah because it's moving to its new time slot which will be on saturdays at night or not Saturdays, uh, Thursdays at night. So, oh. uh, 7 p.m. Central Time. Uh, we will be uh, streaming some Bears and Dragons. So probably at a more of an hour when people might be able to, to, to watch. Although, Sunday mm-hmm. mornings. I- iffy. Um, this is all because of my work has... Uh, uh, Changed my schedule, so I'm working three midnight uh, on a very weird days, Friday through mm-hmm. Friday through Tuesday, mm-hmm. which also means additional programming note for those of you who like to watch a stream instead of streaming in the evening on a Sunday, we'll be streaming in the morning on the Sunday. So join us for brunch. Um, <laughs> I suggest mimosas. Please don't get drunk on mimosas while you watch our show. Well, don't get drunk or, on them. or do if, them. if you're if you're socially distanced at home, you know, mm, fair. Just don't overdo it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, for all we know, you could be turning our podcast into a fun drinking game uh, <laughs> while you listen or watch at home. So, oh my god, now that would be fun. Yeah. What are the rules to the COL drinking game? Did you ask what the oh. rules were? Yeah. What the uh, rules be? I don't know. I mean, the entourage might have already made some. Yeah, well, uh, I'll leave that <laughs> as an open-ended question. You don't know okay. necessarily now, how like, have the answer. I, but I'm nice. pretty sure uh, Chess's bingo card from years ago would still apply. <laughs> Do you have that? Still? We all have catchphrases, things that we that we make reference <laughs> to. So I'm pretty sure that will be the. I now want to see that again. Utilize. <laughs> Lavelle says, Lavelle, Lavelle says challenge accepted. accepted. So, yeah. nice. So, right. uh, uh, so here, yeah, here's the the challenge to to our our listeners and watchers. Um, uh, send us your version of the rules to a COL drinking game. I'm not saying mm-hmm. actually do it because you know drinking games can be bad uh, depending on what's actually happening. But drink is. I think we have good enough knowledge of that based on the Power Hour. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the Power Hour or drinking game is drink one, one shot of beer a minute for an hour and see if you survive. <laughs> And how many times do any of us use the word shit? <laughs> yeah. Or <Poor> fuck. <laughs> we just curse because we have to take another drink. Anyways. Uh, I would say we, we could call that a show. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so if you'd like to contact us, uh, send us your version of the COL drinking game. Uh, you can do that in many ways. You can pop over to our website, comesoutloud.com, leave a comment on the blog, shoot us an email at comesoutloud at gmail.com. Leave us a voicemail, sexy or otherwise, at 361 we'll talk. That's 361-265-8255. I will memorize the number. I can look at the camera and see that without looking at my notes. Thanks. You can also <laughs> find us on various social media outlets on uh, Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, and YouTube at Comes Out Loud in the appropriate place of the URL. Join the Entourage chat uh, because these guys just refuse to uh, to actually work with the Discord that I actually created <laughs> at tidyourall.com slash telegram dash col. 
Uh, you can also find out when we are planning to record these episodes uh, by looking at our events calendar at tinyurl.com slash calendar dash col. Do it on the computer, subscribe to your Google account, and you can get it on your phone. You have to do it through your computer, though. That link doesn't work on the phone for some reason. You can also get various uh, merchandise accoutrement, such as a Cubs Out Loud version 3 uh, shirt, sweatshirt, whatever type of shirt you want. You, you just like click on the design and then you, could, you got a whole bunch of options you could do, different colors and everything. You could also do that with other things, such as stuff from those Smashy collections, such as said to my foreplay. We've got the drag shirt that Damon is wearing. We got the bear shirt that Gary is wearing. And we got even hats. We got mugs. We got a whole plethora of different soup products. Bowls. Soup bowls. I love my soup bowl. I love it so much. I'm having soup or chili. <laughs> I really want to get this mm -hmm. chili bowl. Which all it is mm -hmm. is just like a soup bowl except like like square sides instead of like having the rounded bottom. It's anyways. Both of them are cool. Uh, uh, check them all out. That's <laughs> hazle.com slash Cubs Out Loud. Or, and uh, switch over to your localization so you can save money on shipping. Uh, there you, you can go. also become a patron at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud. Uh, or, or if you just want to send us some cash, see what we can do to improve our equipment, such as maybe working on getting help to get Gary a new computer. <laughs> at <laughs> paypal.me slash Cubs Out Loud. Uh, you can uh, uh, rate us and subscribe to us on the uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Audible, uh, uh, Amazon, Spotify, probably any of your favorite podcast uh, uh, directories. You can find me anywhere in the internet. It says Box Set, Box Puppy, Box Cup, Box Sub Zero, other. Or if you want to see the COL Gaming stuff, it's all over on my Twitch at twitch.tv slash windgem. W Y N D G M. If you wish to get in touch with me, you can find me as Theater Cup 79 on most bear related sites or on Facebook. Or you can find me as pup underscore umbra on Twitter. The Twitter is definitely not safe for work. Because you're a dirty, dirty demon. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, honey. If you would like Hot to kettle. find me online, you can, pretty... 73. <laughs> <laughs> you can pretty much find me anywhere online as Camera73. Uh, if you want to see the not uh, for work stuff uh, on Twitter, it's gamer 73 xxx Yeah. Okay. Call me yeah. dirty. Yeah, well. Never forget. <laughs> all, all he's doing is building a tea. Anyways, Say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Ciao for now. <laughs> <laughs>